Okay, so it's got the two turn on, the power on. Straight up, we've got full power in, 56 volts. So you get to see the power coming out here, don't you? Which is 56. So we've got to do the power coming in. Uh, I'm just going to get in the mess of everything, so let's just figure out for a second. Um, you have to trust me, it's 56. Um, what were we doing? Oh, yeah, so I put the two turn on, so we're going to power this on. Turn it on. And adjust the voltage going up. I've got five volts. Okay, I haven't actually got anything. Everything spreads those. Uh, so that's 47 watts, that's 23 volts. That's what I'm at. That's 113 watts. Like that. That's at 33 volts. 40 volts, 172 watts. 205 watts. Uh, that's at like 4.5 amps, it says there. Let me just. Um, that's quite exciting. Let's just turn it off there for a second and just feel that. Okay, that doesn't feel warm or anything. I need to have a look over at the back, at the amps. I'm sorry if you can't see it very well, I can hardly see it. Hopefully this camera might be able to pick up what that's doing. Let me just check that. That's a little, it's not warm as in hot, but I'm just going to give it a minute while I go for a quick re uh, to cool down and I'll come back and carry on. Yeah, and I just really hope that you can see because this, uh, on the back of this camera, the screen is very small. I can hardly see, you know. Probably do need to get my uh, my reading glasses changed so it's run away while I'm doing this. Right, I can't quite remember where we got to, so I'm just going to do that again. I've put the uh, I've put the meter on this side here, so you get to see what comes out of here as well. So I can put that back down again. Put that across to full wax. So we got 55.1 lot, and we got 56. Uh, coming out. Uh, so uh, you know they sort of like that's pretty much the minimum I suppose that that needs to put out. So let's click this back on. I just want to see what it's going to be like on full blast because I didn't get to uh, put the video recorder there. Let's turn it up. Okay, so the sign is that's a lot better over there now because I actually uh, put the probe back up there. I forgot I got the probe down in, it was connected to all the wires, and so it does look a lot better over there now. So, so we've got, we got 145, 250. Oh, it's cutting back out a bit, so let's turn it down. Just, uh, uh, about 250, I wonder what that was actually, I wonder if that was a mixture between the maximum that this can do, I'd need to look over at the amps over there, I'll turn it back up again, um, but this is 160 VA, I wonder if that's per channel then, oh interesting, so let's do it again anyway, because I think we might be getting to the full max of my uh, at 200 volts, 240 volts, you're supposed to be able to do 600 watts, but uh, volts, watts, yeah, but we're not, we're not using, we're using about 180 volts uh, into this, so uh, flip that back across. Well, that's still the same, which is good. Turn this on. Uh, now this time I'm looking at the meter back here. The amps one for on 26 volts there. Right on the meter at the back there. It's on one of the one and a half amps now. Now it's on two. 200. Okay. It's just about 200 watts. Try about two amps over there. Uh, so I see, so a lot of this is about and that, that sine wave over there, it's quite nice. Uh, a lot of this is about uh, 
I'm, I'm governed now by it looks like possibly the um, the variant. Hmm. Just on the way, it was uh, suggesting that the power has been drawn over there. So what, two amps. It was saying this uh, is a three amp or oh, two and a half amp variant. So that that bit where it started flushing the boat, I think it's because it was probably right at the the limit of that. So warm enough to go again just to have a better check of that oh I've got to turn the off a few times yeah. let's just turn things up a bit oh, probably help if I turned it all on wouldn't it again huh. so let's turn it up here Break out, we get break out 20 volts or not. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna be looking over there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to see in an angle, I can see it. But. So that's on my two amps, that's probably about two and a half amps. Right on the 226 watts, so 4.65 amps. I didn't realise it was that easy to build a bloody power supply by giving that amount of power. <laughs> oh dear. Spending money on these other things, so I should have just built this. Well, I'm quite impressed with that. Only bang, I'm not like impressed. It's not, I've not gone to the moon and back. I mean, I'm impressed that what I've done here actually works. Um, and that I've managed to be able to get, you know, it's all like uh, 200 and something watts. Uh, and this is still okay it basically goes to the extent of what I can do if I turn the voltage up a bit more I just don't or I probably could put them you know, right at the edge put it on 58 volts going in or something so I've got 60 volts practically coming out into this put this right on the edge but over there um, Probably only squeeze a little tiny bit out, and it won't be enough to see much difference in this. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna let it cool down, and then I'm gonna just play around with this a little bit off it and see what that's like, and uh, come back to it. I don't know how much of the last video it got um, because this camera went funny on me again. I don't mind, so I'm just gonna turn this off anyway. I don't like normally turning it on like that, but I feel like I'm not noticing I didn't press the output button. Uh, that's 120 watts. Thank you. And with five over. And then just over two hundred. Oh, it's all gone. Everything's gone. But looks like it just all reset itself. It did a I've had this happen before where 
and it's reset itself off the power because that's off off the power in the, um, the capacitors because at the minute this is all off look as you see it rapidly going down now <laughs> and this will stay on to about six and a half volts I've noticed uh, yeah so that was pretty good so it, the whole thing cut out um, but it all came back again that's always good so let's turn it back on again put the full power back into it I kind of pulling the wires around too much on there do that so okay I do see a problem actually I do see a problem and that problem is that when I turn the voltage on Okay, on that side it's okay. Maybe we've got a bit of a duff connection or something. Because I've got 27 volts. But when I just flicked it back on for both sides, I don't know if you can see the amp meter on the variable transformer. If I switch that off, okay, it says 31 volts that side. And then it just. Maybe it just took a bit of time to realise. Okay, so we're back to 55 volts, which should be on 56 really, isn't it? Hmm. Now I'm not quite sure what was going on there. Uh, if I just switch that off, switch this off, just do temperature. I mean, it's a little bit warm, but it's not. Um, you wouldn't drink your tea like that. It's not warm enough. Almost like it was too cold. Okay, let's keep an eye on that guy with that boost. It's on just some 200, 200 volts, and now it says I've got 10 volts there, but you can just ignore that. That's just still in the capacitors. So I can switch this on to the one side, gives me 27.2 going in. If I switch that across, switch that onto that side, we've basically got this switch it to 227, so that's going down, but that's not supposed to be going down. I think I've got a loose connection. Okay, so I'll just, just tighten that back up again. I'm not sure if it was loose or that would be affecting anything. Everything looks normal over there on those two meters. We'll switch it straight over to the 56 this time, 55.7. And that's where it should have been. I think it was because the, the wire uh, just come out off a little bit. It looked like it should maybe have been connecting, but I don't think it was. There's nothing dodgy going on there with the amps. There's no amps being drawn. Just under 200 volts, 185, something like that. Um, Give this a flick again to make sure this all works. Yeah, oscillation, so yeah, that's good. Just, yep, okay, that's on. Right, come on, about 14 volts. Branch out, about 17. I noticed over there as well, it looked like uh, I was on full amps. Well, maybe not full, but like one and a half amps or something. I wonder why that's cutting out. I'm going to take off these. So I added an extra one of those. Um, that's good because that's still dropping power. I'll just put it back on again now. Don't seem to have. I've got one side. I think I've lost one side of the transformer. Possibly uh, because I don't seem to have on the other side uh, the same amount of power. 
so let me switch it back on the camera that hard. It says we're back on 56.2. So I'll go back to output there. Let's keep it on this. It could just be the circuit starting to play up. Oscillation. Bulbs, come on, the lights just come on. You can see what time it break out. So, I'm going to watch the amps over on that meter in the background over there. I'm, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but I'm, I'm just watching it now as I turn this up. I've dropped down to 49 volts. Seventy-five watts. Half an amp on the transformer. On the, uh, 118 watts. Forty-five volts. Down to forty-four volts. Going into the boost. Still fifty-seven coming out. 150 watts, 50 volts, 3 amps. And about 600 milliamps. That gives them 200 volts going in. Okay, so it didn't do it that time, so I think it might have just been something to do with the circuit spin a bit. It's a bit weird. Alright, well I reckon I'm going to conclude for for now that this is still good. Um, at one stage it was going above, went to about 250 watts I think, something like that. Just under 250 watts and it's still good. Um, and the screen doesn't seem to be doing uh, what it was doing yesterday. So that's good too. Yeah, I'm quite liking this little... Uh, DPS 5015. Still be nice to. I can actually. I can get more power. I can get more ampage. Because I can double up two of these, can't I? Oh. But no, no, no. I forget I just said that. Because doubling up two of those, oh, I've still got to use the Variac, and it's that that's going to its limit anyway. So we've already had it there. Right, okay, conclusion, uh, so far so good with this, do quite like it, uh, display stays good, um, yeah, it's been fun, right, catch you on the next one, bye.